Hey, yeah. guys, your boy Beam on his camera. And welcome back to the Lotion Town Vikings and Pirates Cover Mode. <laughs> and guys, 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 you know what it is. You know what it is. It's been a while. It's been a little week since I recorded this last one. And since then, a lot of bejesus has been happening in the real life world of soccer. What a UEFA Cup final, guys. What a championship final between Juventus and Barcelona. And for full disclosure, I'm personally, when I watch La Liga, I kind of root for Real Madrid. Don't ask me why. Um, but yeah, I've always kind of rooted against Barcelona. But man, this year, that trio, that trio, oh, better than a Doug trio. That's all I can say. Better than a Doug trio. It's the best trio of all. It might be better than the Magnemites. <laughs> Those three Magnemites all together. What do they call them? Magneton. Why am I talking about Pokemon? This is the Luton Town Pirates and Vikings crew mode. Let's go ahead and get into that, guys. What am I even saying these days? What am I even saying? Anyway, we got two months, two months left to my money window. That December transfer window, guys. Let's go ahead and get it in. We're going to go ahead and be packing it all into this game mode. And oh my goodness, do we have some games. And guys, if you remember, we are battling, battling for our UEFA Cup spot as we are pretty much might get knocked out. Um, but we start with this game up against Hull City. And you know this is the battle of the Orange Highland rules there can be only one can you figure out which team headed that in i'm just gonna let you guess i'm just gonna let you guess hmm how many uh, headers to uh does b minus usually get in games hmm how many how many headers have i scored in total in this entire series <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a freaking free kick right here. Just falls an amazing 360 header right there, and Dover cannot get to it. And oh, this is. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad, guys, because man, look at that. This is picture perfect. Dover right here, you can see right here. Dover probably could have done a little bit better right there. He kind of just moves his hands out of the way to let that go in, but oh, but we do get one chance, one good chance in this game. Could we find something? Loftus Cheek, a little bit of the dribble, just takes a shot, and Loftus Cheek, not all that great at finishing, not all that great at defensing. All he can really do is pass, if, uh, if I'm going to be honest, and we do go down, uh, carrying on our, 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 our usual our usual in these career modes, we, we tend to start slow in these career modes. I usually pick them up after a day or two from playing FIFA, and you know, you, you gotta need a little bit of a warm-up to get back into it. But uh, no time to warm up right here as we take on group leader Shaka, and look at us, we are one point behind Barcelona, and we can't really count on them to be dropping any points in this competition, so right here we had to get a win up against Shaka. And look at this, a fortuitous bounce right there, and look at that, we are so freaking lucky! Ross Barkley, right place, right time, a mere <laughs> freaking fortuitous bounces for us. Turner turning on the Jets, living up to his name, bounces. Oh, what a beautiful, lucky bounce right there. I will take it. Ross Barkley not scoring all too many goals in his initial season at Luton Town, but uh, a crucial one at that. But alas, that would be enough to put us past freaking Shaka. And these games are going to come fast and or furious, guys. We're going to be all Vin Diesel up in this biatch. And now, as you can see, we're getting a lot of great offers from France, from Belgium. And the only one that really tempted me was USA because that's my home country, boys, ladies, and gents. And I was like, oh, oh my God gonna accept this offer for America in honor of them kicking out Sepp Blatter. No, I'm gonna be stalling because it's a it's an English crew mode. If I'm gonna accept any international offer, it would be for England. Um, but yeah, and speaking of which, we're back in the English Premier League right here, playing up against Queens Park Rangers. As uh, I'm gonna use my Mr. S my Mr. Burns voice as we do go ahead and get that goal. Excellent. Excellent right there. And look at Redman doing the booby grab. This ain't the Pokemon career. What are you guys doing? Oh, just muscle memory. I just did the booby grab. I just did the booby grab thing right there. But look at this. Just terrible defending. Just leaving me in the dust. We're able to turn the defender. Completely let them in the dust. And Nathan Redman, the man who possesses my first name. Yes, my first name is Nathan, as you guys must know. I probably should have put that into the QA. But alas, we get a second goal right here with the Boateng. Ryan Boateng, the brother from another mother of course the third Boateng brother getting in on the action a shade lighter but just as shade as deadly and just well oh, dinked it dinked it right underneath the keeper and a oh, oh, beautiful dinksy dinks and that is pretty much how we would win that game guys and then we go into the big boys and it, this is a good litmus test how would we fare up against the big boys and look at Malkia <laughs> just silkily smooth past the defender and oh God, I love this finish, guys. I freaking love this finish. And guys, that is freaking Eden Hazard's first goal of the season. He has yet to have an assist or a goal until this movement almost a quarter way through the season. He has finally broken his duck. 
and what a way to break it. Just look at that. Oh, so calm. The cold-blooded assassin. Look at that. Just trickle, trickle, and plays perfectly into the side netting. And look at that. Why is it? Sounds like freaking Johnston's in on this, but uh, more fortuitous bounces for us. And more fortuitous. Uh, this, is, this just has to be called fortuitous bounces. I should probably say, stop saying, I could come up lucky bounces. Oh, it sounds better. Lucky bounces for two of bounces. Either way, we get the bouncy bounces into this. And oh, they were not ready for this jelly because our bodies were too bootylicious for them. Oh, they were too jelly. Look at this rock barley taken out from behind by ex Luton Town teammate Martin Smith. And that will be an insta red card for the ex Luton Town man. And as he walks off in shame in the 45th minute in the shadows of the first half. And a little bit, I'm going to be honest, a little bit light on the red card. Does catch and follow through deadly, but I mean, not not too bad. And with uh, with only 11, with only 10 men on the field, we got that walk up, walk up, walk up pace by Devontae Cole. You go, Devontae. And that is it. Three goals past freaking Manchester United. Ah, oh, sorry, Guardy. Sorry, Guardy Fief. I had to do it to you, brother. I know you're going to be commenting in the comments down below. And that goal is for you, Gardy. What's up? What's up? What's up? Loving the new Super League, uh, Kuruma, by the way. Alas, we are one goal up, up against Swansea right here. But you know how it's going to come back. And oh, what a volley. You can't even be mad at that from Burak. Who the... But Jesus is Burak. But whoever he is, look at this volley. First time out of the air. Gets it past Stuart Dover. And oh, could we get something back here? Or would... Look at this. Or would Swansea get a lucky pen? And this is the lightest pen I've ever seen. How could you give this? We get, we both go for the ball. We both get tangled up and he trips. He falls over and somehow now, Stuart, can Stuart Dover be a hero? My alarm is going off right now. This is crazy. And we are able to get past Swansea with a draw. See right there, my alarm going off on my phone. Distracted. Distracted, <laughs> the striker right there as we were able to go on, and this is a crucial game. Barcelona, of course, now on top, and now we have four shock it down with that loss, but we are tied. We need to get that above goal aggregate, and oh my goody goodness, an initial shot. Remember, that's how Barcelona destroyed us in the first game with the non juice Iniesta uh, finesse shot right there. But look at that, we out Barcelona, Barcelona. Look at the beautiful game, the Hoga Bonita, right then, a oh, one. Touch and I don't know how Eden Hazard stayed on side, but perfectly timed up. Usually, you see me, most of my game is just a uh, sprinting pass. And look at freaking Barcelona taking a page out of my book. Barcelona out Luton Towning the Luton Towners. Look at that, just stealing it from midfield and then going on a breakaway counter attack. What the heck is going on? We were just, <laughs> apparently, we switched up our scripts, guys. And then, but could we get something right here? Oh, it's falling fortuitously, and we get taken down. I thought this was, we were taken down. Do we get a penalty? No, it's right outside of the box. Oh, that was a little bit of a chip. But could we finish right here? And great, great defending by. Uh, Mascherano right there as it's parried away but then we we're on the break 86 minute we put it into the path of Solink what is he going to do is he going to bring it back across he does stop starts does he finish it bounces and another fortuitous bounce but a not a not so fortuitous kick right there but we steal it away 94th minute do not blow don't you blow that ref don't you blow a ref yes we are through yeah oh oh oh, oh, oh. oh with the dinkiest most marshmallow is softest of rolls I thought when I hit that, I hit it way too soft, but it somehow trickles past the keeper. Oh my goody goodness, how did that beat Bravo in goal? Look at that, just enough placed perfectly, and that is another lucky, 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 lucky roll. The marshmallow rolls are in, guys, as we beat freaking Barcelona. What a game. What a game, and then no rest, no rest for the wicked as we are back in this game against Aston Villa, and look at that beautiful, beautiful passing as they just tear us asunder, and it would take until the 86th minute. Could they possibly get a second? They could not. A beautiful first chance for them, but we go down. We beat Barcelona in the freaking championship, but we go down to Aston Villa, and uh, yeah, then we go down once again in the Capital One Cup. I couldn't be bothered playing those Capital One Cup games anymore, and we do bow out of that competition, and we're back into the EPL, guys, and look at this beautiful dribbling, and a fortuitous bounce. <laughs> I gotta come up with something to say something a little bit better. Uh, yeah, we got the, we got the lucky, we got the, what's another word for bounce? I can't think of anything. Anyway, back into this. We do actually win past Sutherland there. Thank goodness as we go back on the track. And this is it, guys! 
We cannot afford to slip up as now Barcelona is uh, uh, in threat to maybe bowing out of the Champions League. But look at that! Freaking Hayden Turner! Look at him, the descendant of William Turner, the descendant of Bootstrap Turner, atoning for his uh, Europa Cup miss last year. Why couldn't you finish like this? Look at that emphatic missile into the top right corner right there, beating the freaking Brondi number one. And oh my goody goodness. And after that first goal, I wanted, I smell blood, I smell blood in the water. And ha, 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 what were you doing? What was the Brondi defender doing right there? I know he's got Walcott speed, but pretty much took him a bad angle. <coughs> and once Cole got that, uh, once Cole got a step on him, he was like, I can't be bothered. This is 97 pace. I'm not going to catch him. I'm just going to save my legs for maybe later. <laughs> but there we go. 90 seconds. Second. Does he blow? He does. And a two goal win. Brondi, that would pretty much put us through the UEFA, uh, through into the UEFA knockout rounds. And oh, what a battle. What a battle back as we do get ourselves a. Now this is classic us, and Yedlin is Yedlin going to go for the shot? He is a right back, or is he? Yeah, he's going to sweat it across. He's going to sweat it across. 79th minute. It took a while to break down Newcastle, but once we did, could we possibly get a second right here? Laying it off to Ryan Boateng, the brother from another mother. Oh my goodness, doing this. Hasn't been doing all too much this season, but when he does come in, he might be our new, uh, our, our new best super sub. Look at him, beautiful one-two, and oh. Ooh, we are playing some pretty ball. We are playing some pretty ball in this game, and that would pretty much be enough to take us past Newcastle. And now up to Chelsea, another litmus test. League leaders, not league leaders, guys. Tottenham is number one in this crew mode. Unrealistic, the cries from the comment section. Unrealistic, I say. But, you know, through all things the Lord Redeemer, Harry Kane, all things are possible, but we will see if we can get past Chelsea right here. And look at that freaking Burba spin. Can we get another? No, not a fortuitous bounce that time but we do retain possession right here getting out to a barbell what is he gonna do he's gonna work it around and another burba spin it's the one skill move i know gets past three defenders sweats it across and bounces off again and bounces in oh my goody goodness eden hazard just trolling we were just straight trolling chelsea on that one if you were a chelsea fan on that possession you would have probably torn all the patches all the patches of your hair out because oh my there were just so many chances for them and uh so many chances for us to just knock it back in and oh my goodness in the 76th minute surely 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 don't call me surely and oh what a miss what a miss we couldn't put him away and when we can't put him away this will happen oh your hero save hero save from Stuart Dover he's been made some atrocious mistakes but this could be the turning point as he freaking gets kneed in the head and he saves it right with his face guys what a hero oh and that is gonna be deadly guys we steal it away in the midfield it's gonna be a two-on-one Dominic so like what does he do does he sweat it across no he stops he starts a little bit of that LTRT right there and a finish into the right hand corner and we beat Manchester we're beating Chelsea and oh my goody goodness who sits atop the league right now but Tottenham but could we get past Watford oh what are we doing in this career but I have to ask what are we doing in this career but sometimes are we in the prem is this are we in the prem look at our defenders we just gift a freaking goal to Watford but surely we could get one back up against lowly relegation fodder nope off of the post and just as uh, the bouncies go one way, the bouncies go the other way. And we go down to Watford after beating Chelsea, after beating the likes of freaking uh, Manchester United in this league. We lose to, like, Hull. We used to Watford. What is what is going on? What is going on? And now we're into probably the final match of this uh, um, of this episode as we go up against Everton. And look at Barbo. Get crossed over. Oh, my God. Look at us. Looking like Chris Smooth out there. We are playing NBA 2K. 15 right now look at the crossovers the nastiness of a barbell look at the body paint looking like dirty mike then crossing crossing back over and then oh just a little bit of a flick up getting enough height to get it past oh the keeper take that joel take that gloria and now we're going to be moving on and that is another tactical change that we have done ever since we have moved a barbell out to that wing out to that right wing he really has been excelling and now he's scoring more goals showing me that he is the true pirate uh, fulfilling all of his destiny, Victor Ibarbo onto the ball once again. What is he going to do right here? Plays a little one-two with Malkia. Malkia is in. Malkia is in. Sweating it across to you. Go, Devontae Cole. 
And there we go, three goals past Everton. What is up with our inconsistent form? But I ain't even going to be mad at that. Doing the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration, and that would be it, guys. And yeah, that is going to conclude this episode. We're going to go ahead and do this uh, really quick right here. Uh, you can pause it if you guys want, but this is a quick squad report. And you can look at all the fancy guys. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you for all you guys who did check out my Q&A. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's doing pretty well. Usually when I do those um, IRL videos, they don't really do all that much. But you guys are absolutely murdering it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to say. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's a beautiful day here in L.A. And uh, yeah, it's the boy B minus. And until next time, remember, stay humble.